Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I have left Sedona and I am now in Cottonwood, Cottonwood, Arizona. Uh, we came to Cottonwood because it's very close by to Jerome and we want to see Jerome. We found a BLM spot uh, in Cottonwood. This is really exciting because um, neither one of us have ever had experience with hunting down um, a site through through dispersed camping, through just going down dirt roads like we've neither one of us have ever done that. So it was a fun challenge and we found a spot and it was it's the best spot. Let me show you a little bit. I'll look behind me. It's just big beautiful blue skies. It's sunny. It's warm. It was comfortable sleeping last night. But let me show you around. There's a few other campers around. And um, it's just the sunrise was right out my windshield. I woke up the way my bed is, right where the passenger seat was. When I wake up, I'm looking right into the, into the windshield. And I saw the sunrise over the mountains. It was just beautiful. So let me show you. So here's my little van over here. Just check this out, will you? So here's the front of my van. The sun rose right over those mountains there. Here's my friend Luann's van. Say hi! <laughs> There's my buddy for six weeks. <laughs> She has a Toyota Sienna. She has it all built out. She's got her kitchen in the back. And we'll do a van tour of that at some point. She cleans up. <laughs> <laughs> I told her to let me know when she's ready for a tour. <laughs> but over here, there's mountains in the distance there. And there's just campers. There's campers around. It's so quiet. So peaceful. And here's my little darling, my little darling van. I love being here. I love, love being here. So we, we had had plans to uh, be out of here by 11. We were going to pack a lunch. We we're going to go into Jerome. And, and then we're just like, let's just have lunch here. Let's just relax here. So, um, so this morning I, um, I, I slept so good. Oh, I slept so good. And it's just so lovely here. You know, I love Sedona, but, um, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I can't see myself ever having the draw to return there. Um, it's just way too touristy and just, it got jam packed with people in the morning when I, I was there kind of early and when I was kind of going through the town, it wasn't that packed. But by the time we ended up, it, by the time we finished up that Jeep tour, uh, oh, this is moms, moms. So I've seen it and uh, there's plenty of other places to see. So I can't see myself ever returning. Um, loved it, loved it, loved it. So what I did this morning was I started cooking. I was all out of cooked grains or sweet potato. Things got too busy with Sedona to be doing that kind of cooking. So I, and I did some prep cooking at the campground, but not, not enough. And um, so I ended up going to Whole Foods and got myself some rice cakes. So I have three rice cakes would be a serving of um, grain for me. And they are the Lundberg brand is the one that I like. They're nice and crunchy, crunchy, delish instead of uh, kind of like styrofoam. I don't like those. Some of those ones like Quaker, they're, they're not good for me. They're not good. So, what I did today was I cooked, I'll show you what I cooked. I set up my stove on my little pull down table, uh, which I fixed by the way, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So I made um, I made some rice, but I, I used the four grains, basmati rice, wild rice, quinoa, and farro, a combination of the four. 
mainly the rice. And then this is all the sweet potato. What I did was I peeled it and then I cubed it so that it would cook more efficiently on the butane stove. I'm not in a position to use my pressure cooker. I'm getting full sun and I'm getting all the energy I need to charge my devices and keep my fridge running um, and do my tea kettle in the morning. And that's about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting ahead and I'll, I'll figure it out, but it's okay. I just cooked on the butane stove. I got all that. That's going to be for several days. And then I also cooked some, whoops. I also cooked delicata squash. So I just, again, if I'm cooking it in, in like the pressure cooker, I would just cut them in half. But because I was cooking the butane stove, I just cut them in bite-sized pieces so they would cook quicker. And I just, all of these things, I just put it in water. I just had a, an extra piece of chicken that I just, I said, you're going to share. You're going to share this container with the chicken and the squash. So all of these grains, I just cooked with water at the bottom, covered and just steamed, steamed. Everything is steamed. So it came out really great. So I put a lunch together. Um, the, some, that broccoli, I made a pile of broccoli the other day, the chicken, the delicata squash, and then at the bottom is some rice and the sweet potato, some avocado oil, salt and pepper, and I'll have this when it's lunchtime. And that's great. And I also made a little, a little sample pack for my friend Moann. So she's got sweet potato, rice, and some of the broccoli, and the delicata squash. So I think she has some cooked protein for herself. I'm going to give her this. And there we go. So I don't know what today is going to bring. All I know is that I'm ready to sit on my chair with a nice glass of water. And I'll check in later from Cottonwood, Arizona. Hello, and here I am again. So we left Cottonwood, and we're right now we're in Prescott. But between Cottonwood and Prescott is Jerome. Can I tell you an amazing, spectacular drive? Route 89A, before and after Jerome, before Jerome, after Jerome just spectacular. I was like in the sky. <laughs> My ears were cracking. Um, absolutely stunning views. When we went through Jerome, packed with people, packed this tiny, tiny area that's very touristy because it's spectacular. Very touristy, tons of people. Neither one of us are up for that. So we just went through it. So it was nice to drive through it. Don't want to stop. Don't want to go in and look at the shops and all that stuff. The drive was just amazing. So at one point after we went through Jerome, we're on this windy, I mean, hairpin turns all through um, the mountains. It kept going higher and higher and higher, like 5,000 elevations, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. It just kept stick kept going up and up. There was one pull off with a scenic view. I pulled up and I took a little bit of footage. I'll put it right here.
it can't really capture what I saw with my eyes. I, my jaw was on my lap. My jaw was on my lap. I have to say, I have to say that that blew me away more than Sedona. It blew me away more than Sedona. It did. So we came through Jerome and now we're in Prescott and we're at Planet Fitness. We just had some showers. What's really wonderful with Planet Fitness for $23 a month, I have a membership where I can use the Planet Fitness anywhere in the country and I can take a guest. So I just had to register her as a guest on my phone and then um, she gets in with me. So anytime we need showers for these six weeks, we'll go on my Planet Fitness membership. It works out great. So, um, so we just had our showers. I'm, I got my, uh, I got my towel right here drying. It's, I'm telling you, it's been in the sun for probably 10 minutes. It's already dry, totally dry. So I'm going to fold it up and put it back in my, in my shower bag. Shower was wonderful. Much, much, much needed. Um, they all are when you live on the road like this. Every shower is pretty gosh darn special. This little shower bag that I got at the thrift store works really great. It holds everything perfectly. It's not too big. doesn't take up a lot of space. Love it. 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 So what we decided to do right now in the same parking lot as Planet Fitness is Home Depot. So she went to Home Depot because she wants to get a piece of wood because there's something that she wants to build for her... Um, on her kitchen, her little kitchen in the back of her van. And um, I have a feeling the next dispersed camping spot we're at, we're going to be taking out the, the jigsaw and, <laughs> and cutting stuff and drilling. And so, uh, but tonight we, we, you know, we're really new at this. We're really new at finding dispersed camping. So we're, we're just, we were just going over. We were on Camp Campendium and we were on Iovalander and if anyone can help me out, okay? So you find a spot, great, okay? And then you click on it, it tells you all about it. It says that it's Forest Road 51. Okay, Forest Road 51, we'll go there. So now, how do you get there? So like, how do you get there? I see that it has coordinates. So I put the coordinates in my Google Maps and then it's it says, uh, from where? So I say from here, Planet Fitness, cannot be found. They all say they can't be found. So if it has the coordinates, how am I supposed to get there? <laughs> if I don't have an address, but I have coordinates and the coordinates doesn't seem, she tried it on her phone, the same thing happened. I'm sure it's operator error. I'm certain it's operator error. But um, so she's in Home Depot. She's going to ask if, because I think some Home Depots, you can sleep in Home Depot. I'd rather, I'd rather go to someplace beautiful, but you know something? I'm in this parking lot. There's like mountains all over the place, but it's getting right now. It's getting a little late because it gets dark pretty early. It gets dark at like, like around six, six thirty is, is sunset. A lot of these, um, camps, uh, dispersed camping spots on the Iovalanda, they're all one spot each. So like if you get there and someone's in there, like, what do you do now? You got to start all over again looking, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm, I know there's a way to do this that's, that's logical and that's very skillful, and we just don't know it yet. So we're just winging it. But we, we're, she's going to ask about Home Depot. If they say no, we have a Walmart picked out. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> okay, so she asked at Home Depot, and they said, no, nope, there's no parking in their parking lot because they're on tribal land, and they can't allow the overnight parking. So... We found a Walmart. There were two Walmarts in Prescott on Iovalander. One of them said, can't park there. There's now there's no overnight parking signs everywhere. The other one, everyone was saying they parked here, no problem. So uh, here I am. And it looks like it's going to be a good spot because I see other campers here. So it's just off to the side of Walmart um, where the garden center is. And... Um, it looks like this is where we're going to call home for tonight. I would much rather be in a BLM dispersed camping site, but we're not, and that's okay. We're learning as we go along. 
We don't know what we're doing, and we're doing it anyway. Can you hear that? Can you hear what I'm saying? I'm 65 years old. She's 75 years old. Okay? So between technology and this whole dispersed camping thing, we don't know what we're doing, and we're doing it anyway. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know, as we were, you know, she's on her phone, I'm on my phone. We're trying to get coordinates and we were getting frustrated. Um, it was very, it's very, technology is frustrating. Um, I don't know why I just put the coordinates in and I don't know why it just won't tell me how to get to the coordinates. I think it's that simple, but I don't know why it keeps saying we can't find that. It's, I'm putting the right numbers in. I, I mean, how many times can I check and double check? And she's putting it in hers, and we're getting the same thing. And um, I can't find 51 on the map anywhere. We have, a, we have a paper map. I can't find the road because it's a forest road. So it's not on a map. It's not on that map that we have. <laughs> so guess what? If all else fails, you go to Walmart. Yay. Anyway, it's, I just we didn't want a chance um, going out there and just chancing it because it's late in the day. It's about 4.30 and it's going to get dark soon. Like in an hour and a half, it will be dark. So we didn't want a chance uh, getting in that area. And then, I don't know, it's just like every little ping on Iovalander represents one site. So like if you get there and like somebody's in it, then you need to go to another one. And then like, what if they're all full? And then what do you do? You know, there's like, there's no Walmarts out there, you know? So just to be safe, here we are at Walmart. Tomorrow we're heading north, getting towards the Grand Canyon area. Uh, but we're going to find a spot before that. We have an area picked out. There's supposed to be lots of um, dispersed camping um, available in this particular area. And um, so we're going to, that's going to be like what we're going to do like in the morning. We're going to go, we're going to figure it out without this, the pressure of a time constraint, you know, with the, before it gets dark. So we're going to find a spot. We're going to find a great spot and we're going to stay put. We're going to stay put for a few days until it's time for us to check in at the Grand Canyon, which will be on October 11th. That will be very exciting. Then we'll head west. So it's all good. It's all good. It's all coming together. It's, um, you know, uh, it's a simple life, but it's not an easy life. You know, everything is, everything is work. Everything is more work. One day at that dispersed campsite, there was so much sand and dust in, in my van. <laughs> my floor, footprints of dust, dust footprints everywhere. And I would sweep and then the minute I, the, and then they're back. Um, so the desert makes a mess of the van, a mess. Um, so there was a lot of, uh, lot of cleaning the floor. And, uh, but I got all my prep cooking done. I met some really nice people right in that area where we were dispersed camping. Um, really nice people, two men and a woman. And they're all got separate rigs. They're all part of a group on Facebook something uh minstrel the minstrel something the something minstrel i remember the word minstrel was in it and he this guy's telling me to join it and they're going to baja and anyway this woman um they're all full time this woman was in a big class c very nice class c and she came over because my my floor caught her eye she goes I want that floor in my class C. And so she wanted to come over and look at it. She wanted to come over and find out where I got it. She wants the black and white check floor for her. For, so then, of course, that turned into a van tour. So she was fascinated with the whole van. And then she tells the guy over there, oh, yeah, you got to go check that out. So he come over. So he got a tour. And uh, it was fun. You know, people were excited to see my van. And I'm excited to show it. So it's a win-win, you know. It's a win-win and um, I'm gonna say it again driving into Jerome and out of Jerome on 89a 
if you're ever in this area. If you don't want to go to Jerome because it's touristy and it's jam-packed, don't even stop. Because when you drive through it with the traffic, it's really so tiny that as soon as it's all backed up with people and cars, before you know it, you're out of it. You're out of it. Um, and then the traveling before and after Jerome. <sighs> Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Um, just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I can't even believe. I can't believe the things I'm seeing. It's just so awesome. God is just, what an architect. What an architect our God is. Absolutely amazing. Bye for now.